But next, the complementary therapies <laughs> that actually work will meet some practitioners and patients when our Health Week continues. It's past eight o'clock. Well, complementary medicine is big business in Australia. Two out of three Australians use it every single year, and the industry is estimated to be worth around $2.5 billion. So this morning, we're looking at three forms of therapy, acupuncture, meditation and Reiki, and whether they actually work. Next start, we're talking about Reiki, and Sharon Mackerson has been a practitioner for 20 years. Good morning and welcome to Good you. Good morning, Mel. Just explain to us then how Reiki works. I pronounced it right, did I? Yes, yeah, that's okay. correct, yeah. Well, um, I as the practitioner just place my hands on certain parts of Richard's body, and the idea is to help his own healing process. The, the belief is that the Reiki energy flows through me to Richard and it seems to balance and normalise the functions of the body. Now, I don't heal Richard. Richard's body heals himself. So, I hate to ask what might probably seem a very, very ignorant <laughs> question, but what's the difference between you placing your hands and, say, me placing my hands on somebody or part of me that's sore? Well, any touch with love is beneficial. Okay. Yeah. But Reiki practitioners have been trained to uh, transfer this energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the energy is, is the vitality that keeps us alive. That Reiki energy is vitality. And when your vitality is low, mm. you're more likely to be um, unwell or susceptible to stress. When your vitality is high, you feel better. Because, Richard, it's completely... I'm sorry. <laughs> it's completely changed your life, hasn't it? Because you've had major back, lower back problems, is that right? Yes. And this has really helped. Yeah, that's what I did. A couple yeah. of treatments and I totally forgot about it. So <laughs> it's great. And how does it feel now, having lovely Sharon's sort of hands? I don't know. Nice kind and of... warm and relaxing, yeah. yeah. Can even, you... under, even under the lights. <laughs> oh, that's extra warm. But do you feel sort of... I don't know, how, do you, how would you explain it? Do you feel calm? Very, very relaxed, very calm and the just the flow of the energy. It's great. What are some of the things that you would use this um, use Reiki to treat? Sort of pain and... Yes. Actually, you know, you can use Reiki to stay well. And also, we treat people who are suffering uh, from pain, stress, uh, anything really, from cancer to drug dependency. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't say that we cure these things. Reiki is a holistic treatment. Mm -hmm. It's a supportive therapy. Yep. Yeah? And the beauty of Reiki Mill is it's totally non-invasive. Mm. It's completely non-manipulative. It's safe. And so people can use it safely with other therapies. For example, um, the Charles Gardner Hospital in Perth, mm -hmm. Reiki is the most accessed complementary health treatment mm. in that hospital for cancer and leukaemia patients. And, like, you know, those patients, they report significant benefits in um, their levels of pain, fatigue, breathing and uh, nausea. So, like, they're real quality of life benefits. Well, you know what? I think it's amazing. I mean, we spoke <laughs> for everybody. With open minds, you've got to try something. You find something that works for you, and that's, that's all that matters. So that's wonderful. Thank you very much for your Thank time. You. Thank that's you. <laughs> Thank you to all our patients who appreciate it. Now, if you want some more information on what you've seen today, just head to our website. It's all there. Of course, it's been Health Week. We've been covering lots of different topics. So I hope some of it helps.